a little bit of what it takes to paint wildlife art. Wildlife art is a very unique form of art in that it requires a lot of, lot of extensive work outside of just being inside the studio itself. Artists have to go into the bush and get their reference material of evening, morning and sunset scenes uh, that create the beautiful works of art that you see Langley capable of doing today. In order to go to the bush, one has to spend a great deal of time and money because in the bush there is no guarantee. You know, lighting conditions have to be perfect and finding the animals is a challenge in itself. People don't realize that sometimes things like an experience we just had recently in Monopools, David, myself and Jakob and Slope witnessed the taking down of an elephant by 12 lines. These type of scenes are seen sometimes only once in a lifetime and sometimes not seen at all, even by the guys like myself who grew up in Africa and have been in the bush their whole lives. The thing with wildlife art is that every single reference that creates a great, great painting is what was paramount to the painting itself. These artists go out and they take reference material of bark on trees, mud formations, river lines, skylines, evening sunsets, the sun in the morning coming up, and obviously the most important thing is to capture the very elusive animals that are found in Africa. So yes, these artists work from uh, photographs, that is the reference that they work from. They have to have that in front of them in order to create perfect anatomy uh, on the animals and to recreate the perfect nuances and colors uh, that are found in the fauna and flora in the African bushveld that make these paintings authentic.